This week I chose to cover our upcoming homecoming game against Dubuque Hempstead on Friday. I managed to get both interviews from Coach Horner at Dubuque Hempstead and Coach Remmert from Cedar Falls. Both coaches have a tremendous amount of respect for each other's teams, and both coaches believe they have the motivational edge coming into this game. Coach Remmert believes so because our guys have a bitter taste left in their mouth after last week's defeat at Cedar Rapids Prairie, and Coach Horner believes that the Mustangs have the edge because their momentum is carrying over from last week's win over Dubuque Senior. Coach Horner had this to say about how he's preparing for the game at the Dome. Yeah, uh, this group is kind of unique because this they get to play there last year in a regular season game, and now we didn't plan on this, but we get to play there this year in a regular season game. Um, so we'll do some different things. Uh, we, we may you know, go in the gym and practice for a little while and kind of turn some noise up. Um, we'll probably bring some music out to practice, which the kids have fun with anyways. But just get it to, to where you know we can still make our calls um, in, in that loud atmosphere. You know, we talked this year. Um, it'll be interesting to see how big the crowd is, but I'm sure it'll still be loud however big it is. Coach Rimmer, amid a loss last week, is still really confident in his offense moving the ball, even though it hasn't been with the same efficiency as last year's. He's looking for another big game from the Tigers' star running back, Ryan Ostrich. Yeah, you know, Ryan's having a tremendous season. He's taking advantage of some really good blocking uh, up front, and uh, he's hit over 200 yards in, in two of the three games and, and done a real good job for us. So we're going to have to continue to utilize him, uh, get our passing game going. Uh, we have some really good receivers, and and uh, we feel like our quarterback, uh, Hunter, has made some good progress. We just got to find ways to, to get on track and, and get that passing game going against Hempstead. Coach Horner explained how their defensive secondary does need some improvement for the Mustangs to secure the win on Friday, but their strong suit is their star senior defensive end, Jalen Smith. He's a pretty athletic kid playing out there um, at defensive end, uh, so we hope that, uh, that he can get in the backfield and make some plays. Turnovers and consistency was a reoccurring topic between the two coaches when I asked how they could each secure a win on Friday. Here's Coach Horner's keys on how the Mustangs could come up victorious this Friday. I think uh, not being overwhelmed uh, by the excitement of being in the Dome, um, playing a very good football team. So I think a lot of our game plan will be pretty similar to senior. Uh, we know we're playing a really good football team, um, but we've got to minimize turnovers, hopefully create a couple turnovers, control the line of scrimmage, and those would be our keys. Offense for the Mustangs has been one of their strongest suits this year, led by senior quarterback Aiden Dunn, who leads the team both in passing and rushing yards. He's one of the players Coach Rimmer is very concerned about containing. Coach Horner said he'll be a big part of their offensive play this week. Overall, we should be looking at a really competitive game on both sides of the ball. We'll be looking for the Tigers Ryan Ostrich and Eli Mickey combating the Mustangs Aiden Dunn and Jalen Smith to make the big plays this week. The sophomore game starts at 5 o'clock, followed by the homecoming game, which starts at 7. Homecoming coordination will begin at halftime of the varsity game. And signing off, this has been Sam Jeremiah reporting for the Tiger Highline Online.